Hey guys, this is Jamie. So, today I want to talk about mental health. And I didn't do a video last week because I was actually in Lisbon seeing my mom and that prompted me even more to talk about mental health um, today. So basically, I didn't have a good time, I guess it was expected. But um, I just wanted to say that the goal of this video and the idea behind today is literally to focus on the facts that very often parents, relatives, family just doesn't want the best for us. And I don't want to say that's okay, but I want to say that you're not alone if that's your reality. And I feel like we sort of grow up being pressured into this whole idea that family will always be there for us, that family knows best, and very often that isn't really the case. So, kind of after coming back from the trip, uh, I did get kind of like scolded, reminded that obviously like... Uh, that trans being trans is a tragedy in her eyes and etc. And other sort of memories emerged, which I forgot and I wish stayed forgotten. And specifically, it's more difficult because she always defends my abuser and uh, my abuser being a sibling is very difficult, so... And... I feel like in general, we really need to sort of help trans people understand that we are not the problem. Like, it's hard enough as this to transition, it's hard enough as this to understand who we are. And I really hate all these Ben Shapiro, Matt Walsh, whatever types who think that, or TERFs who think that transition is pretty much doctors giving us candy. Because by the end of the day, it's a very difficult procedure. It's a difficult... Well, for most of us. I mean, I understand that there is informed consent and everything, but for a lot of us, it isn't just that. We have to say goodbye to certain comforts. We have to do this to be in our skin. To be comfortable on our skin. And we risk we really, we really risk a lot of things. We uncover a lot of things as well. Like there are a lot of things, but when you come out to your parents or relatives, siblings, whatever, or strands, you actually put the pressure on and you see if they really, like, love you or even care about you. And love is a very difficult thing for me. Because, again, being abused uh, growing up, and specifically by a female sibling, because a lot of female Abusers are not counted as abusers. As I was saying, I feel like love is a very difficult subject for me, obviously, because I was abused and I was really led to believe that I'll, I'll never be loved and stuff. So, and then I got told that I should think of the said abuser, I should be nice to the said abuser, and... It's just very difficult, in general. So the point of the video and what I wanted to say was that we really need to prioritize our own selves and while I'm saying this, I am having panic attacks, I am taking time for myself to heal, I am talking I am talking to my therapist, 
not my psychologist rather. And it's not easy. And there isn't a clear way just to do it. Like for instance, I tried cutting off my mom for quite a while and it was very difficult for me and it was obviously difficult for her. And I feel like, sure, like maybe I shouldn't have done it back in hindsight, but at the same time I thought of myself and specifically in this case where she is defending an abuser and enabling the abuser, I feel like I deserve to think of myself. I wish I just understand it sooner or something like that. But you know, um, at the end of the day, uh, when I sit down with myself, I just, I wish things were easier. Or sometimes I really think about karma, or I feel like abusers don't get enough um, I really feel like anyone who abused anyone doesn't even deserve to be alive, frankly. But, I mean, the world works in really weird, unfair ways, in my opinion. So, with all of this in mind, I really want to say that we as trans people, we should really think of ourselves. And if you need to take time for yourself, I'm sorry, a fly is flying around. If you need to take time for yourself, take time for yourself. If you need something else to heal, sure do it, as long as it doesn't obviously hurt other people. And by heard other people, I don't mean random bullshit like your mom is going to be crying and doing a funeral because you're trans. I mean, you should think of yourself because at the end of the day, when we come out of trans, it's very difficult for us and I don't think anyone thinks about that. And the whole idea of taking time for ourselves to heal, to understand ourselves. Even if, like, let's say it's the most picturesque coming out ever, it's still difficult. It's still understanding yourself, it's still understanding to see what do you need, which surgeries do you need, which treatments do you need, psychological help, psychiatrical help at times, if I don't know, like, I've got bipolar, so I always say that. So I feel like we really don't give ourselves enough credit for that. And specifically right now when the world is a fucking shithole filled with hate and unjust things... I really think that loving yourself is, is the right way to go. And I'm not saying this because I have achieved it, I'm just saying that I wish other people would. I still have my own battles, I still have my own inner fights and everything. I also wanted to say thank you very much to everyone who enjoyed and even those who didn't enjoy my previous video. Um, I've never expected a video to blow up this much and this soon. I understand that everyone kind of expects YouTube videos to blow up like, I don't know, within a year or so. But I've been doing YouTube for quite a while and it was very, very, very nice to see that. I understand that it's, for some reason I'm controversial for calling a turf a turf, but, or a transphobe a transphobe, but, I mean, 
I'm just speaking my truth and I'm just speaking about trans rights. That's pretty much it. So thank you very much for watching. Um, thank you for all of the support I've been getting. I've also been getting quite a few comments and I'm sorry if I haven't gotten back to. It's literally because I really get shy about replying. I really appreciate it, read all of it. Good and bad comments, obviously. And uh, it really means a lot to me. If you like this video, if you took something from this video, uh, please share it around, obviously. I want to get monetized someday, and it would be very lovely to do that. Uh, please click the like button, subscribe if you haven't, because it helps me more than it helps you. And I truly hope that, um, obviously I'm speaking more to trans people right now, but I truly hope, well, not necessarily just trans people, that everyone finds their own inner peace and mental health clarity or self-love, which does not hurt others in any possible way or capacity, which is harmful, I mean. Like, don't do funerals because your trans child is trans. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks.